To discuss this further now, I'm joined live from London by Fabrizio Pulli, who is an aviation analyst and managing partner of Tyrus Wings. Thanks for joining us on the programme here, Fabrizio. How embarrassing is an incident like this? I mean, a man can pass through a secure zone seemingly undetected. Yeah, unfortunately, these things do happen, and they don't just happen in Germany. Um, I mean, I've seen it happen a number of times. They don't always get reported to the news. Uh, but what actually these terrorist groups do is they send their people out months before they're going to strike, and they go and they test different airports, and then they then report back, and they see where they can get through and where they can't get through. And that's exactly what was happening there in Cologne. Does this mean, the fact that he's managed to get through, that security is actually weak at the airport? Well, you know, once they set up a system, uh, both uh, plainclothes like police or secret service people test the system. But then on the other end, it's, it's, like, it's almost like a, a game between the, the good guys and the bad guys. And you've got the terrorists testing the system on one end, and you've got the, the, the official secret service police people testing the system on the other end. Once you design a security system, you never know, you're never going to know if it's going to work perfectly until you actually set it up and then test it. And so sometimes people do slip through, and we just have to hope that when they slip through, that things are then corrected. But this is happening all the time. Problem is, he slipped through. We're obviously, uh, we've had a, a few incidents, you know, the Brussels attack, the Egypt plane crash. Um, there are frequent flyers out there, and it's worrying that they know now that people can just slip through security. Yeah, the worrying thing for me is that it happened in Germany. I mean, Germany, from an aviation standpoint, is a very efficient, they have a very efficient aviation uh, community. Uh, people are well trained. Um, it's one of the top aviation nations in the world. Um, and so the fact that it slipped through in a German airport is a bit worrying. What are people meant to think, though? Are well, they safe? I... Are they safe when they go into an airport? I mean, you know, can they ever be safe? Well, I mean, when I, all the aviation security courses I've done, they've always told us to keep an eye and ear open when you're, when you're in an airport, whether you're going through as a pilot uh, or you're going through even just as a passenger. For example, let's say you find a bag in the toilet and the bag's unattended. Report it immediately. And it happened to me once at Heathrow Airport. My wife spotted a bag in the toilet and she said, oh, there's a bag in there. OK, let's just call the security people. And they took the bag away. So um, people have to be alert and they have to sort of look around and when, even when they're travelling, if they see anything suspicious, anything suspicious, always report it. Not everyone is alert as you. I mean, based on your personal experience, do you know any cases of uh, security breaches? Well, I've had people get on some of my flights. Um, we, we had terror threats and all sorts of stuff happen uh, in the UK and also in the Middle East. Um, they, they were caught and, and, and the whole thing was stopped because uh, the security people were on the ball. Um, so, you know, the, these things are happening all the time. And, and, and this is where, for example, I see more and more people now, in particular executives and, and wealthy families, are going to be turning to fly in private jet instead of going through uh, busy uh, terminals where everybody else is going through. They're going to go through the, the business jet terminal on a, on a private aircraft and move in and out. And there we've seen the, the, the likes of companies like NetJets and that uh, on the rise after September the 11th. And we're going to see more and more people turning to flying private than flying airlines because it is a lot safer from a, from a, from a safety standpoint, definitely. But I mean, if you are traveling through a terminal, just keep your eyes and ears open and do some research on the internet, know what to look for, educate yourself on, on the matter. And if you do see anything suspicious, report. It. Fabrizio Polly, an aviation analyst from Tyrus Wings, thank you very much for that insight. Thank you very much, Nadira.